So you've been roped into doing the baby gender reveal for your friend's baby shower and you want to incorporate a bit of science into the event. Well I've come up with two exciting ways to do just that. We're going to do two chemistry experiments. All you need to do to prepare is get a conical flask and cover it with black tape so you can't see what's inside till the end. You can decorate it however you want, but put the food colour in corresponding to whether it's a girl or a boy, pink or blue. So the first time we start with baking soda, put that in one tablespoon. Then we get white vinegar, one cup. Make sure we leave it on the tray because it can get messy. We give this to mum and dad and we say pour it down the funnel quickly, take the funnel out and step back. This creates carbon dioxide and water and a lot of bubbles and you can see this one was a girl. That's a much faster reaction than the second one that I'm going to show you. If you wanted to have a bit of suspense before you see the colour, this is the one. So again, this has got some food dye in it, covered the same. We're going to start off by getting a jug and pouring in one tablespoon of yeast. To that, we're going to add three tablespoons of warm water. Make sure it's not hot because that will kill the yeast and the reaction won't occur. The yeast is going to act as our catalyst for the reaction and make everything happen faster than that would happen naturally. Mix that up, make sure there's no lumps. Down the funnel, we're going to add half a cup of, hydro of hydrogen peroxide. and around one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. Give that a swirl. Give the yeast one last little mix to make sure no lumps. So the hydro Hydrogen peroxide, that is H2O2, what the yeast is going to do is make the hydrogen and the oxygen want to split much faster and the dishwashing liquid is going to catch all the bubbles. So in it goes. Give it a quick swirl. And have we got a boy or a girl? For this one, we've got a boy.